Today we'll be doing a cine and lighting breakdown on a few scenes I shot. All right, so for the first scene, I wanted to just make some tea, early morning vibes. That's what I was going for. So for this first scene, I ended up using two lights. The one in the kitchen was the Nanlite Pavo Tube 15C, and then outside I had the uh, Godox SL60W. All right, so with the Nanlite, it's two foot Nanlite tube, so I just ended up putting the uh, light right under the fan and then just kind of jamming it in between the two lips on, on the little housing, I guess you could call it. I did this instead of using the actual light just because I can control the temperature and it makes color grading a lot easier because it's not like crappy lighting. For the light outside, I ended up putting a Fresnel on it and then I don't remember what degree I put it in, but I put it kind of tight just so I could have some hard light on the cabinets. And I was an absolute idiot and I forgot sandbag, so I ended up using bricks. I don't recommend this at all. So for the next shot, I moved the Nanlite uh, more vertical and back just so that I could light up a little more of the actual cup. And then the light outside stayed the same. The only thing I really changed was I added this bounce just so I could fill in the, uh, the side of the cup, it was a little dark. On the second shot, you can see the actual uh, tube light in the cup. Um, at first I didn't like it, it felt unnatural, but I think if, um, if there was a home and the curvature of the cup makes it seem real, so I think it's okay. I almost forgot to mention, with the uh, first two scenes, uh, the window light was kind of harsh, and it was the interior was a little too light in my opinion, so I ended up taking a, a sheet and then just gaffing it to the window to diffuse it a little bit. All right, and for this next scene, a little bit later in the day, but um, same thing, I have the 60W outside and the Fresnel punched in. Uh, it's not too bright, I wanna say like probably anywhere from 50 to 65%. And then uh, inside here, I have the bounce with the nan light uh, bouncing off that, just to fill in kind of a dark side of my face. I wish I would have lit this one a little bit better. It looks a little unnatural in my opinion, and uh, you can see the noise in the shadows a lot. And while filming this, I wanted the tea to show steam, so I put it in the microwave for like three minutes and it was literally boiling, and I forgot, and I went to take a drink and I completely burnt myself. <laughs> All right, this next scene is me cooking a burger. This is actually my lunch, so I just thought, why not film it too? All right, for this, uh, I actually only ended up using the nan light and then the normal kitchen lights that I have. Uh, same thing, it's shoved up in the like vent area and then my normal like, I don't know, 50, 600 Kelvin, like daylight balance light is on. This last scene I actually really enjoyed shooting. Uh, so I ended the window down to 1.2 and then the only lighting I think I used was the that practical right there and I have a lamp on the other side of the camera kind of facing at the wall just like filling in the room. So the window's kind of jank. Uh, I don't have any rolls of ND so what I, ha I ended up using just these like square pieces of uh, ND. These are uh, each 1.6 and I just double laid it over um, and then gaffed it to the, to the window. Um, and then on the other side of that, I, the window light was still a little too harsh, so I ended up using um, this fabric and a uh, orange gel to kind of keep it warm. It, it could be better, but that's what I got. So for this color grade, I was kind of going for Roger Deakins-esque. It doesn't really work, but it's all right. I don't think it looks that bad. So camera gear I used for this shoot was the uh, Canon R6 and the Sigma 2470. Um, and then on top of that lens, I have the uh, uh, Prism Lens FX Dream FX filter, but I think it's the eighth, not the full. For lighting, I use only two lights. I use the uh, Nanlite Pavo 15C, it's the two foot one. And then my main key light was the uh, Godox SL60W with the uh, Aperture Fresnel uh, attachment on it. And then for the gels I ended up using, it's just like these, it's like a whole pack of like Lee. I know it's not really meant for like 
you know, windows and stuff, but that's all I had, so. If you like this Cine breakdown or like BTS videos, um, I'm gonna keep posting them, so come back, subscribe, like this video, comment, all those things. As always, I post every single Saturday, so stay tuned for next week. Live your life, guys. Have fun. We'll see you next time. Oh, and one last thing, the burger was delicious. It was great. <laughs>